Hi everyone, welcome back to my allotment diaries. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. We're in June, believe it or not, we're in June. Um, the weather has just been absolutely awful, which is why I just haven't been here recently. I haven't, there's been no way I can get here. I mean, it's been like torrential downpour, um, which has just been insane. And uh, the plot's just not going to plan this year at all. I don't know how your plots are going, but mine is just falling apart. Everything's fallen over, the slugs have got everything it's all overgrown it's just an absolute disaster year really um it's my first it's my second year having an allotment plot so i wasn't expecting too much i don't know oh i was expecting something to grow anyway i have some good news i do have some good news you're a little low down but it's raining and, I, and it's so cold out here and i just don't have the time to fiddle with the camera so i'm just gonna have to sort of like manage <laughs> but i have something very exciting come on I haven't killed it on the way. Oh, Look at this. Look at this. This is the first time I've ever grown sweet corn and it's grown like this. Look how healthy it looks. It looks like actual sweet corn plants. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just whacked them in in June. That's all I did. I just literally did it exactly the same way. And um, they've all germinated pretty much. So I'm going to get them out. That's what I'm going to do. We're going to have some sweet corn this year for the first time. <laughs> right, this is the bed it's all going to go into. So I've got my courgettes in here. I've got a couple of runner beans which seem to have just ran off. The runner beans have run away. Um, and I've got these poppies which I'm going to have to take out and all of these, um, all of these uh, tulips which are all going to have to come out. I'm just going to clear the bed ready for the sweet corn and then whack the sweet corn in. That's the job I'm going to do today because looking around the plot there is so much that needs to be done. I have to just focus on one thing um, because all my sunflowers are falling over. We had quite a lot of wind. Um, then my tomatoes are bent over and falling because I didn't tie them in like an idiot. Or oh, I do need to harvest my garlic as well but we'll do this first. Hey here's an idea, how about we start with one job <laughs> instead of 15. Right, let's clear the bed. show you how my courgettes are doing because I didn't grow these last year um, I've only put three here because somebody told me three courgette plants is enough to feed a family of seven uh, for a year <laughs> so um, but look I've got my first flower so I've got a little bit of slug damage but not too much but yeah here's a little flower so I don't know if that'll become a courgette we don't know yet I mean it might just die um, but yeah they're all doing really really well oh, that's a weed they're all doing really well they're massive absolutely massive plants so they're doing good and the sweet corn that i planted out already is doing really well so now we're just going to whack this stuff in why break the habit of a lifetime let's just whack it all in and uh hopefully i've got this is the best shot i've ever had at actually having sweet corn to harvest so this is really exciting and i'm just going to get whacking it in now before it pees down <laughs> it's raining but I'm still watering them in just to give them the best possible chance they possibly got ever because like I said this is the closest I've ever got to growing sweet corn before and I don't want to muck it up at the last hurdle so come on guys they're such healthy little plants will they stay healthy little plants and turn into healthy big plants we don't know these ones did and they looked a lot worse 
so I have really high hopes for these. Come on, sweet corn. Right, I'm going to stake my um, sunflowers because they're flopping all over the place. Someone said I should have done it ages ago, I know, um, but I didn't, so I'm going to do it now. too late for them I don't know I don't know I should have done it ages ago I know I should have staked them I just didn't foresee this weather to be honest I thought we got over the worst of it um my tomatoes are just going all crazy because I didn't tie them in they're sort of like growing sideways so I'm going to try my best to sort of tie them in and encourage them to grow up but they don't seem to want to grow up this one seems a bit better but I'll tie them in and see what happens these are all really silly, simple mistakes that I really shouldn't have made. Like, I knew all of this. It's not like I didn't know I was supposed to do this. I just didn't do it. This is what happens. You don't follow the rules. I don't know. It might be too late for him. Oh, it's bloody rain. I'm going to end time in. Hopefully, I'll get a tomato. One tomato would be a success this year, I think. Just one. That'd do. <laughs> right, it's harvest time. It's harvest time because it is harvest time. I've, there's no other day I can come here, guys. It's going to rain all week. It rained all last bleeding week. Now it's raining all this week. Right, I sowed my garlic on the shortest day of the year last year in December. And yesterday was the longest day of the year and that is when you're supposed to harvest it so i am just going to yank it all up now see what happens never harvested garlic before i've never grown it before so we'll see most of it looks dead to me but what do i know clearly nothing because my tomatoes are growing sideways and the runner beans have run away so what do i even know let's just yank them up see what happens I don't know, they're covered in mud, it's hard to tell. <laughs> it might be garlic, it might be garlic. <laughs> Tiny! <laughs> Why are they all so bleeding small? <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's a bit better. He looks, he looks like he might be a garlic bulb. Yeah. Yeah, he looks okay. Yeah, he looks like a garlic bulb. Oh, he looks he really looks like a garlic bulb. Success. That's one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kind of a mixed mixed success is it worth it growing it from january till june mm, not sure um these are some of my non-successes <laughs> oh for god's sakes these ones might be okay some of them might be okay we'll just have to wait and see <laughs> oh for god's sakes there we go right i have to take it home and wash it all and see what it looks like I do have some broad beans here, but they're covered in these little um, black things. So I don't know if the beans are okay, but I might just pick some and just see. See if they're all right. Because they're really big. They're really big. So I'm just going to pick a few and wash them at home and just have a look at them and just see. See if they're goners or not. I've got a few. I don't know if they're edible or not. Like I said, they've been taken over by bugs, so I don't know if they've got them all, but we'll take them home and we'll have a little investigation. Again, six and a half months I've been growing these bleeding brawl beans. Six and a half months. 
子啊？I don't know if some of these are ready to harvest. These are my、um, spring onions. I don't know. I don't think so. I think they could probably go a bit longer because normally the ones I buy in the shop are a bit bigger than that.、Um, I might just leave them a bit longer. They seem quite happy and healthy, so let's just leave them. I think I can see some strawberries, and I might just pick some of them before the slugs and snails and the pigeons get them, and the mice and whatever else eats all that stuff. I can see some red in here, hiding through the strawberry plants. Oh look, there we go. Beautiful, and I can see one over there. Yeah, I might just pick the ones that have already gone red. Next one. <laughs> Next, keep an eye out, right? And、oh, I'm joking. We've got to it, yeah. No, they're not quite ready, and the only one that is has actually already been eaten by a snail or a slug. It's got a little hole in it, so. They got to that one first, but there's so many, so many. I'm, I'm so convinced I'm going to get some this year. So my God, it's really coming down now. They said it's going to stop. They lied. They lied. It's getting shed. Oh, where the heck has summer gone, guys? Where has summer gone? I feel like I'm picking things. I feel like it's winter. Right, a few garlics and some boiled beans. <laughs> Six months of work for this. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. It's not about the harvest at the end of the day. It's about the fun that you have along the way.、Um, <laughs> it would have been nice to get some better harvest, but there we go. That's life in it.、Uh, you win some, you lose some. Looks like I've lost all that.、Um, and the pot is just going to complete disrepair. So I'll、we'll、just have to see what happens. You know what? It's just not my year here. It's just not my year.、Um, but hopefully things will pick up. <laughs> And、um, the weather will get better, and then I'll be able to sort it out, and we'll get stuff growing. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. I'm sorry I haven't been here for a while. As you can see, it's impossible to film in this weather, so it's just a bleeding nightmare. Hope you're all well, and I'll see you in my next vlog. Thanks for watching.